Live stream. We are here for our first live stream session of the day. We're going to be doing two different live streams today the morning session and the evening session. Welcome to the morning session. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys for joining me. I'm going to say what's up to some people real quick. Let some people join. I'm going to let uh, more people join uh, real quick in the next few minutes before I get started in the main topic I want to dive into and discuss today. Uh, so if you're here and you want to say what's up, say what's up. We got Troy in the house. What's up, Troy? Two people so far, three people here. I hope everybody's doing good today. All right, cool. So today what I want to discuss once we get a few more people here is we're going to go over some additional tips on uh, some things you can do uh, to be more comfortable wearing diapers to work or to school. So we're definitely going to be getting more into that here in a few minutes. Uh, once we get a few more people joining in, we got six people in the chat now. What's up, everybody? We got Rye Guy. Hey, Rye Guy, how you doing today? We got Craig saying, "What's up?" Well, welcome, Craig. Good morning to you, Ian. Hey, hey, buddy, how's it going this morning? I hope you guys are all doing great today. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, if you're just now joining the live stream in a few minutes here, we're gonna jump into the main topic of discussion before we do a Q and A after that. Uh, the topic of discussion today will be some additional tips for wearing diapers to work or school like you saw in the title. Uh, so we will be jumping into some other ideas that I have that I didn't include in some of my previous content. All right, we got more people hopping in here. Jay hopping in. Hey, how you doing this morning? Jay, Troy, welcome to the live stream. Thank you for being here, my brother. We got Chris saying good morning. Good morning, Chris. Trent, welcome to the live stream. Trent, you Appreciate you for joining us today. Kurt saying hello. Mosa, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How about yourself this morning? And then Steve stepping in here saying hello. Okay, so we've got 12 people in the live stream. Uh, I'm going to give it another minute or two here before I jump into it. Uh, but before we do get in the main topic of discussion, do you guys have any issues or pain points uh, when it comes to wearing diapers to work or school? If you do, that's what we're about to discuss. So if you want to put some things in the chat to discuss, that'd be awesome. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump into the main subject here in just another minute or two. Moses says she's doing well. That's fantastic. Great to hear. Uh, hey, good news. I was looking into live streaming video games. Uh, that is actually kind of like... Uh, I'm gonna to need to acquire some equipment to be able to do that effectively without uh, without a lot of lagging. Uh, I'm looking at stepping up the live streams up a notch with some programs and stuff like that. But uh, we'll get more into that later. Uh, just saw you made me think of live streaming some Grand Theft Auto, which would be a whole lot of fun. Um, all right, we've got Chris saying confidence is key. That's a great tip. Definitely good good to throw that in there. Okay, so. It's been a few minutes here. It's This is about where we hit with our, our capacity on our live streams. Hopefully we can get a few more people to join, but uh, if you guys tap that like button, hopefully that'll spread it out further. Maybe share some links with some friends that you think might want to join. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and jump into the mix here. I've outlined uh, a few different tips and stuff uh, for you to think about. So I was asking this question on Twitter. Uh, I do believe I also made a post about it here on YouTube just to see what you guys thought. Uh, about it and if you have any pain points or particular issues that I could address in more depth. This is a subject that gets a lot of search and a lot of uh, a lot of views whenever I do a video on it. Uh, so I wanted to see if there were some way I, some way I could expand on it and go into more detail on things you guys might have some issues with. Uh, one thing that I realized is that if you're having trouble wearing diapers to work or you're not sure where to change, one thing you gotta start thinking about is being a little bit more strategic with it. Obviously, we all wanna kinda of maintain our privacy. We don't want uh, everybody at work finding out or everybody at school finding out. Uh, so it helps to be a little bit strategic with how you think about uh, going about your day and addressing diaper changes when and if they need to happen. Um, so yeah, so get strategic with it. And by that, let's let's discuss a little bit further about what we mean by getting strategic with it. Uh, so if you can't find a private bathroom or if you don't have one to use at your place of work or your place of school, uh, one thing you can think about doing is plan for using the restroom at 
maybe a low traffic time of the day or at a time of the day when your colleagues or your schoolmates are going to be tied up. Uh, so that's definitely a, a good approach to take is to think tactically about it. Maybe choose a bathroom that has less traffic than other bathrooms. Um, so that way you're a little bit more comfortable when and if you might need to execute a change. So that's one thing to think about. And that's what we mean when we think, when we're saying think strategically, think tactically, you're kind of like, it's kind of like a game and you're kind of like playing chess to figure out the best way to get through your day in the way that you're most comfortable with and will allow you to have the protection you need as well as walk with confidence in your chin up high, you know? I definitely get how it can be really, really like changing in a public restroom is one of the most self-conscious things. I've been there. I still do certain things sometimes. So we're about to get into more of that in a second here. Uh, let's see. So, oh, another good tip is uh, make sure to always have like spare plastic bags with you. Because if you're going to be changing in a public restroom where you might have to be throwing away your used diaper in front of people, uh, you may feel a little bit more comfortable about it having it concealed in a couple of different plastic bags. Plus, those are always useful to have just in case uh, you have any kind of bowel accident. Sean hopping in, say hello. I'm going to take a quick break here just to say hello to anybody else who's popped in here. Uh, we got Ben jumping in to say, what's up? Hey, glad to see you live. Glad to see you join us here, Ben. We're just going through some tips uh, and techniques that you can think about if you need to wear diapers to work or to school. Uh, we got Sean hopping in here saying hello. Moses saying, how do you keep the stench factor down? The smell products don't have a strong odor control. Okay, we'll get into some questions in a little bit. Remind me of that uh, here in a bit when we when I finish up the rest of my points. We'll come back to that. Um, and Troy says, I have myself. I, I'm not sure what we're referring to. But we're going to come back to some of the questions here in chat in just another minute. I just want to say what's up to all of the new people joining. What's up, Tom? Thank you for joining us today. We're going over more tips and techniques, things to think about uh, if you're going to be needing to wear diapers to work or school. All right, so let me get back to where I left off here. I, 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 the last thing I was talking about was bring a plastic bag. Um, okay, so now it comes down to, let's say you're, you're, you're in the restroom, you're in a public restroom, you're in a stall, uh, and you need to perform a change, and you're at work or you're at school. Um, one thing that I've done before, especially when I'm feeling self-conscious about it, is I literally have waited until I don't hear anybody in the restroom, and I think the restroom is totally quiet before I rip off that tape. Because sometimes in a bathroom, when you rip off that tape, it's... It's sort of, you feel like you're shooting off a shotgun or something like that. You think that it's it's so loud and everybody can hear it. Um, but yeah, that's one thing that I've done. Might be something to consider if you're feeling self-conscious about it. Uh, so that's one potential approach to, to take with that. And then another approach that some people take is simply to strategize uh, on not changing at all. So some people will double diaper. Uh, if you're not sure what that is, that's basically where you take two different diapers. You usually want to use a diaper that's your size and then maybe a diaper that's a size up. And then the one that's in the inner layer, you poke holes in the plastic or rip holes in it or whatever. There's different ways to approach double diapering, double diapering with disposable diapers, but that's one approach to take. Uh, of course, there is extra thickness with that. You may be more self-conscious about doing that uh, but that is how some people make it through the entire day without having to perform a change in public at all. So maybe that's one thing to consider. Also, other than double diapering, I mean, I would prefer or recommend uh, just getting a booster pad. They make really big booster pads today that's basically like double diapering at this point. Um, so yeah, if you, uh, if you get booster pads, they could certainly increase the capacity of the diaper and extend the wear time of the product. Uh, so that's definitely something to consider as well. Um, cool. i got a few more points to go over. I do see some more people joining in here. I just want to make sure I'm saying what's up to everybody. We're at XM Virus saying hello. Great to see you live. It's awesome to be live. Uh, it's I, I'm finding these live streams a whole lot of fun to do. I'm going to be trying to do regular live streams on Sunday morning and Sunday evening. So going forward, uh, if you guys aren't sure when to look out for the live streams or when to catch them, I'm going to be trying to do two different shows uh, in the mornings and evenings. We'll see how that goes. I may need to adjust that over time. Uh, doing this content creation thing can be a lot of pressure and a lot of work. Uh, but I think maybe doing these live streams is really going to help me out a lot, especially when it comes to learning to speak without stuttering or slipping over my words. 
and hitting specific points, talking directly to the camera. There's a lot of skills to work on when it comes to these live streams. Anyway, um, cool. Thank you for joining us today. I'm gonna pick up where I left off here. Let's see. I okay. Another great tip to go by is. In fact, let me turn that music down just a tad. I think that might be a little loud. Okay, so one other thing to think about when it comes to wearing diapers to work or school is the type of clothing that you wear. It always helps to wear clothing that's maybe a little bit more baggier than usual, especially if you're self-conscious about people noticing. Uh, when it comes to pant sizes, uh, personally, I always look to wear a pant size up of what I would regularly wear without a diaper, which at this point, I mean, I don't even know what that is anymore. <laughs> I've been wearing diapers for so long, but that definitely helps you feel a little bit more comfortable when it comes to wearing these products, uh, especially if you need to wear something a bit thicker. If you're trying to go with that strategy of not changing at all for the entire day and wear a much thicker product, um, personally, I would feel more comfortable and a little bit baggier clothing if I was going to do a strategy like that. So, yeah. Uh, another tip along those lines that I have is when it comes to wearing baggier clothing or getting clothing that you feel comfortable wearing out in public with your diapers, uh, one good thing to do is make sure you're wearing your thickest product that you're gonna wear when you go shopping for clothes. So that's definitely something to think about and consider. This is a little too loud there. Um, yeah, so get so again to recap, that's to get get uh, pants or clothes maybe a size larger to accommodate for the extra bulk of the diaper that you're gonna be wearing and make sure that you're wearing the thickest product that you might need to wear when you go to get your clothes. Okay, one other thing that people are generally concerned about when it comes to wearing diapers to work or school is whether or not that, uh, let's say it, at work you have a lot of physical activity, you're gonna be bending over a lot, picking up objects, moving stuff around, and you have the possibility of your shirt rising and exposing the diaper. That's something a lot of people are worried about or concerned about, um, and some people choose to address that through uh, adult onesies. And believe it or not, they do actually make adult onesies in more formal and adult style. So we're not just talking about uh, ABDL onesies, we're talking about onesies that have like a nice shirt collar that look kind of like a polo shirt tucked in. So that's one thing to think about uh, as well is that will help uh, ensure that the product is held in place. Uh, it doesn't start to sag off your butt when it gets wet and heavy uh, and it, sna it snaps in the crotch. All the things you would expect uh, a onesie to do only it looks more uh, adult and it's something to help conceal the product. So that is something to consider. It looks like a tucked in shirt. I suppose you could always just tuck in your shirt. Uh, I personally don't really use onesies. It's not really something I'm concerned about. Somebody sees it, they see it. Uh, honestly, I think if most people were to see the top of a waistband of a diaper, uh, they probably wouldn't even recognize it for what it is or even think two things about it. So that's, that's one reason why that's not something I'm too concerned about. But guys, those are the tips that I wanted to go over with you today. Uh, those are my additional tips on wearing diapers to work or school. Some things for you to think about and consider when it comes to strategizing uh, on when and where to change, uh, as well as what to wear and how to feel more confident about wearing what you need to wear uh, when you go do what you need to do out in the world. So let's go ahead and open up the floor to questions, concerns, any, any other tips and techniques you guys have that you might want to share uh, with anybody watching the replay. Anybody? Troy says, I also wear a long t-shirt. Ian asks, okay, so all right, let me go back here because I do believe Mosa had a question earlier that I wanted to answer. All right, so she says, how do you keep the stench factor down? The small uh, products don't have a strong odor control. Um, okay, so when we're talking about the stench factor, if we're talking about the, the smell of urine, uh, honestly, I don't find that to be much of an issue most of the time, uh, generally because I usually change before it becomes an issue. I mean, it really just depends on how long you need to wear a product for and how often you have the chance to change. 
Generally, if I can't smell myself, I'm not really too worried about other people smelling me. Uh, when it comes to bowel accidents and stuff like that, it's really kind of hard to hide stuff like that. In that case, I, it's just, in my opinion, it's best to just be honest, whether it's with people at work or at school, go do what you need to do, you know, excuse yourself right away and go change. Um, or there are, there are other ways to strategize around that, uh, but that's sort of a different topic for a different video. Um, but I mean, it just depends on what you mean by that, Moses. So it, it, it depends on what products you're wearing and how much uh, of smell is a factor. So if you're wearing, uh, let's say you're using an, uh, an adult diaper that has like a cloth exterior, those are designed to be more breathable, but the downside with those is that they also let out more of the smell than what's, than say like a plastic bag type of diaper would. We got JD dropping in saying, hi, my favorite diaper for wearing out and about is the ABU preschool diapers. They don't last as long, but they are super discreet. Thanks for the tip. So I'm, I'm assuming they're discreet in that they're discreet in their profile and their thinness. Maybe they, maybe they don't crinkle as much. I don't know what kind of exterior those, those particular diapers have, but let me go ahead and catch up on some of the questions we got in here. Um, Sean says, I have to change in my workroom because I can lock the door. Well, that's great. So if you have a place where you can go to lock the door and you have some privacy uh, and the freedom to change, that's always really the best way to go when and where you can, uh, where, when and where you can get that. Uh, Ian asks, how do I uh, reduce the noise from the diaper? So when it comes to reducing the crinkle sound of the diaper, there are a number of different ways to do that. Uh, when I first started wearing diapers and I was very self-conscious about that, I would wear, uh, I would wear underwear over the diaper first off. So I would find a snug fitting, uh, basically I would find a snug fitting pair of underwear, whether it's whitey tidy kind or boxer briefs. You, you don't really want boxers because they're too loose and they don't really constrict the movement of the, the plastic at all. Uh, you want something that's a little bit more snug uh, to the diaper. So that's one thing to do is to wear underwear over the diaper that's large enough to fit over the diaper, enough, that's large enough to fit over the diaper, but snug enough to muffle that sound a bit. Uh, the next thing as well is to uh, maybe find some, the right, the next thing is to find the right pair of pants, whether that's jeans or some other type of pants. Uh, usually I think jeans are probably one of the best ways to go because they have a certain stiffness and thickness to them uh, that help muffle the sound of the diaper. And then when you have all these things combined and you're out in the world, you're at school, or you're at work or whatever the case, the situation is, the sound of the environment and people, uh, just the sound of people's own thoughts in their heads is gonna drown out any additional sound you might be aware of and concerned about. Because uh, I promise you, nobody else is going to hear that sound but you, if you do hear it at all. Okay, great question, Ian. Thank you for that one. Gustavo saying hi. Good morning, Gustavo. Thank you for joining us today. Appreciate you jumping in. Diaper squad in the house. <laughs> I, know, I know Gustavo likes that one. Uh, Troy says, I also wear long t-shirts. Uh, that is definitely one way to go, especially if... Uh, if you're wearing thicker products, maybe a baggier t-shirt uh, can help conceal it a little bit more. Um, personally, I don't do that anymore, but it's certainly one tactic to use. We got JD Robinson saying, uh, okay, we covered that one already. Ah, so JD says uh, the ABU preschool come in both cloth back and plastic back. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So... That way you have that discretion if you want it. Uh, XM says, I'm sorry if you've answered this before, but what is your go-to everyday diaper that you buy the most and wear every day? Uh, that's, that's okay. I get that question a lot. Uh, definitely new people are coming all the time. Um, and yes, I do. My main go-to diaper is the Confidry 24-7. Uh, I usually pair that with a Live A New Booster Pad. So let me grab them real quick. I'll show you. Hold on. All right, so excellent. This is the Confidry diaper. So as you can see, it's, it's pretty decently thick. And then we have a, a booster pad. So the booster pad 
is almost like an extra diaper, as you can see. So you, you obviously just peel that and put it in the middle. Um, but the, that I find that particular combination of products works for me. I'm totally comfortable with the thickness and, and of that product, uh, but it's very absorbent that way. Uh, that's what that's my go-to that I prefer myself. Um, but uh, you know, with doing all this content, I'm exploring the diaper market and finding other products that maybe I might be interested in. I, I do appreciate uh, the absorbency level of both the Mega Max and the Better Dry products. Those are both great products as well. Um, I just like, personally, I like the fit and the feel of the Compa Dry more, for whatever reason. Um, okay, we got Ben uh, saying, let's see, I wouldn't recommend to wear thicker pants because when I did that on Thursday, when I peed in my diaper, it leaked down my leg. Huh. So, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like a a diaper fitting issue rather than a pants issue though you know generally when you when you leak uh it may be due to the leg guard uh the leak guard not standing up properly uh it could be to the position that you were in maybe um there could be a, a number of different things causing leaks to occur maybe the the diaper you're using doesn't fit you quite right um so Usually the, the pants thing is, is for those who are self-conscious about the sound of the diaper. Moses says, you are cool. No, you are cool. Appreciate you. I'm so looking forward to the day we can start uh, a Grand Theft Auto like diaper clan or something like that. Um, I'm looking into how to get it set up. I'm super excited about it. But to be honest with, with you, like there's a learning curve to the program that I need to use that is quite intimidating. It's on top of everything else I need to learn. But I'm gonna hack away at it uh, one small step at a time, like I do with everything else. Troy says, yeah, even with my very big diapers, I wear at times. Oh, uh, so I'm assuming Troy saying, yeah, even with my very big diapers, I wear at times that the long shirt that he, ch long shirts that he wears help kind of conceal the thickness of that diaper. Uh, what brand of coffee do I drink? That's a cool question, okay. I do love coffee. Um, it is the Starbucks espresso brand. I, I usually get the whole beans and then I grind it up. And uh, sometimes I do just black coffee with sugar. Other times I do a little bit of uh, like a chocolate creamer um, with some cinnamon and sugar. Definitely love adding cinnamon to my coffee. So L love coffee. I I'm not gonna let uh, incontinence or diapers or any of that keep me from drinking some coffee. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll quit drinking coffee. Who knows? Um, Sean hopping in saying, I use the Abina diapers. That's what's up. Uh, Abina has been around for a long time. It's been a little while since I tried their products. And honestly, I don't think they have a plastic back version anymore, which makes me kind of avoid using them because uh, I personally don't like the cloth back type. They, they chafe me. They, they're uncomfortable. I don't, I just, I don't care for that, that type of adult diaper. Um, Trent says, how much do those booster pads cost and how many is in a pack? Um, I believe I get a case of these uh, for around 60 bucks. And I wanna say there's 72 in a pack. I'd have to look it up. Uh, I, I, I get my products on XP Medical though. So definitely check it out there. Gustavo, Wonder Woman theme? I don't know what you're referring to, man. I don't know what, where Wonder Woman thing's coming from. Uh, ben saying skinny jeans are the way to go. <laughs> Whatever you prefer. Whatever works, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm all about people doing what they feel most comfortable doing and that allows them to be them themselves. So uh, if you prefer skinny jeans and uh, you find a product that works for you, that uh, does the trick for you, that's that's the way to go, man. We got Ben saying, uh, the diaper fits me fine. It's good at night. Okay, well, um, don't know what to tell you, man. Leaks happen sometimes. It's part of the, part of the gig. Craig says, uh, they to plastic. Uh, I don't know what we're going about there. 
Moses says, I drink uh, Folgers coffee, New York style, love heavy coffee. Yeah, I like the dark coffee as well. Uh, been a while since I've tried a little bit of Folgers, but you know, you gotta, you gotta drink what you like. Trent says the Abinas do have plastic bags. Oh, okay. I, I thought they discontinued those a long time ago. They must have got a lot of kickback from that. Um, so that's great. I would certainly wear those because I do always recall them being good products. They were one of the first products of that particular kind, to be honest with you. If I recall back in the day uh, when Depends still made like tape up type of diapers, they weren't very good quality. Uh, and then Abina came along and Abina was like the, the talk of the town in the diaper world. Um, and then they there was talk some years ago about discontinuing the plastic bag, but I guess they kept it. Or maybe there's still some places where you can get it. Uh, Jesse Crumb says, uh, don't think I could get skinny jeans over my diapers. Yeah, I don't think so. That's not for me. Not for me. I Plus, on top of that, jeans in general, I feel constrict my movement. Skinny jeans just would feel too constricting to me. But to each their own. No judgments here. We got Kevin hopping in saying hello. What's up, Kevin? Thank you for joining the live stream. Appreciate everybody for joining today. For those of you who were not here earlier, we did have a little bit of a discussion on uh, some additional tips and techniques that I have uh, for wearing diapers to work or school. Uh, right now we're doing sort of like an ask me anything type thing. We're just asking questions, hanging out. Uh, but if you do have any additional tips and techniques of your own on, uh, on some things you do to strategize on wearing diapers to work or school feel free to share those in the chat we'll go over them we'll have a little bit of discussion about them see if we can figure out together some better strategies that maybe you can utilize uh, in your daily routines so cool we got Kevin hopping in Troy says, I like SWAT pants myself. Uh, I don't know what SWAT pants are, but let's see. Sweatpants? Oh, okay. Sweatpants. Yeah. Hey, I do. I, I, I can agree with that. I do wear sweatpants a lot, honestly. <laughs> it's probably what you see me wearing in most of my videos these days. I've grown so comfortable with wearing diapers. I just, you know, wear sweatpants. And usually for those of you who are self-conscious about it, yes, sweatpants don't do a whole lot to hide, like, the sound of the crinkle or the thickness of the diaper it's it can be maybe a little bit more evident that you're wearing diapers if you're wearing sweatpants um chase says i sleep in skinny jeans <laughs> that's hilarious uh okay jesse says sweats and diapers best combo yep obviously we're all in agreement there uh moses says how much coffee do you drink in a day oh that's embarrassing at least three cups Sometimes five. <laughs> Depends on what I'm doing. Like the other day when I was trying to get that video out for YouTube, uh, I probably had like five cups of coffee that day because I sometimes I wait too long. So that's part of what I'm going to be doing in these live streams here uh, is trying to uh, organize my thoughts. It's going to sort of be like the live streams are going to be like the first stop of the pipeline, I'm thinking. So what I'm going to do every week is I'm going to do two different shows on Sunday where I have one set of facts and things in the first live stream that I gather up uh, and put together. And then in the second live stream, I'll try and do a different topic with a different set of facts and stuff. And then I'm thinking what I'll do after that is I'll take all of that research and all of that effort that I put into gathering that stuff and then take, take those and turn them into two more polished and refined videos with the cool effects and maybe some scenes. Uh, I'm trying to get better at doing like scenes and storytelling uh, that's, I don't know how many of you here saw the recent video I put out uh, on treating adult diaper rash or how I handle adult diaper rash, uh, but I had a cool little bank scene in the beginning where uh, I was trying to make it look like uh, I was itching my diaper rash and it caused a crinkle and as a result my my caper failed. <laughs> so cute little, little thing that I did. I had fun making it. But I want to do more fun stuff like that because honestly, that's what makes making videos a lot more fun for me. It's part of the reason that TikTok is so much fun for me because I end up doing all sorts of weird and fun things on TikTok just for entertainment. I want to bring more of that into the YouTube productions, uh, those skills that I'm learning over there. Let's see here. We got more coffee talk going on here. I love Starbucks coffee. Let's see. Let's see. 
Your middle school is a vending machine for Starbucks? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't have that in middle school. We did have vending machines. No, that was high school. Um, okay, we got Jesse saying, I agree. Or XM Virus saying, yes, Jesse, I agree. We're all in agreement on sweatpants. Awesome. It's a beautiful time of the year to be wearing sweatpants. We got uh, Vinicius saying, hi, Mark. I just want to say thank you. Your videos help me a lot, accepting my need for diapers. That's so wonderful to hear. Uh, I always uh, take stuff like that. Like, man, I'm so humbled anytime people tell me that. Uh, that I've had an impact on their life. Uh, it's one of those things that just fuels me to do this more. Uh, and it kind of makes me regret not doing it the past five or six years. You know, I started doing it years ago and I knew back then I was helping people, um, but I had a lot of stuff going on in my life that kind of made me retreat from the, uh, from being in public per public eye, I guess you could say. Uh, and then until a few years ago, I started doing art again and then I've always had a thing for building up websites and YouTube channels and stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, so now I'm just gonna keep doing this for as long as I can. Okay, so appreciate you hopping in there and sharing that with me. Um, definitely love that I help you guys out and help you feel more comfortable with your need for diapers, whatever that need might be. Uh, we got Jay saying five cups is pathetic. Okay, all right. Fair enough. I put a lot of sugar and stuff in my coffee too, so I try to be a little bit conscientious about that. Um, five cups with all that sugar is a lot to me. But uh, yeah, we're all in agreement. We love coffee. Uh, JD says coffee is good. There are times when I like to show off the poofy butt that I have. Okay, Troy, well hey, whatever toots your noodle, I suppose. Is that a saying? That's not a saying. That's not a saying thing people say. Um, Moses says sometimes I have about four cups. Uh, we got Chris hopping in saying good morning. Hey, good morning, Chris. Thank you for joining the live stream today. Um, you're hopping in after we got went over a, a list of things on tips and techniques of wearing diapers to work. You, you're going to want to watch the replay to get some of that. Right now, we're just hanging out, listening to some music, answering some questions, getting to know each other a little bit further. Steve says the Tommy video you did was hilarious. Uh, I don't watch Rugrats. Oh, well, I'm glad you found it funny, even though you don't watch Rugrats. I mean, I don't, it's not like I sit around watching Rugrats today, but Rugrats was something that I grew up on. It was Halloween, and uh, I had a couple requests on TikTok uh, to dress up as Tommy for Halloween. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna do this. I'm going to run with it. Uh, it could make for a funny and entertaining video, and honestly, I thought it did, and uh, I, I, I thought it was a lot of fun making, too. I pulled a Pop-Tart out of my diaper. I didn't actually have it in my diaper, just so you guys know. Uh, there are a lot of, I do use a lot of camera tricks and, and, and stage things sometimes when needed to get the content out and get the point across and try and, uh, you know, basically do what I need to do to hit the niche and, and, uh, hit my market. You know, you guys need to, to feel a little bit better about yourselves, whether you're, you're bedwetter, whether you're incontinent, whether you just need to wear diapers for comfort or anxiety, uh, whatever the case is. Uh, I'm here to help, and I want to be that guy that can make you smile, make you feel better about it. Let's see, where did I leave off here? Mose, that says, I wear bathing suit shorts to hide the product. Um, so I'm assuming, like, maybe something tight-fitting that's, that's snug, maybe, like, uh, I'm thinking, like, biker shorts is what I would think. That's also another option, in case you guys aren't aware. Biker shorts could help as well. They're very tight-fitting. Uh, Sean says, when I was trying to find some really good brand of diapers that work good for my wedding issue, watching your videos help and other people who's going through the same problem also help. That's fantastic to hear, Sean. Uh, I'm glad we could, uh, or at least the videos, whether the new ones or the old ones could help you, uh, figure out which product worked best for you. We got Kevin saying, I personally wear jeans over my diaper and then a t-shirt. I find it the most comfortable in public. At home is PJ pants and a t-shirt. Kevin, 100% agree with you. That's generally where uh, what my go-to. Like if I'm gonna go out in public uh, or do like an event where I'm, where I wanna be comfortable, I, I usually prefer jeans. Uh, I think jeans are probably the thing that I'm most comfortable in when it comes to feeling a little bit self-conscious about whether or not people can hear the diaper or see the diaper. Oh, I lost my music here. What happened? that on shuffle so oh that was a good one there Kevin 
Definitely agree with that one. Jay says, at least seven cups of coffee a day, no sugar. Well, as long as, at least without the sugar, that's a little bit, a little bit better for you. I worry about the sugar sometimes. Um, Jay says, my school has free coffee machine. That's pretty awesome. Hopefully it's good coffee. Kevin says, I love coffee and as a truck driver, I drink way too much. <laughs> hey man, you gotta stay awake when you're on them roads. Definitely can't have that. Jack says, Jack, well, first off, welcome to live stream, Jack. I haven't seen you pop in yet. He says, hi, I stopped wetting the bed around the start of the pandemic and your channel makes me comfortable because if it starts again, I'll be okay. That's wonderful to hear, Jack. I'm glad that uh, your issues seem to have resolved themselves. That definitely can happen with time. Um, and it is possible that maybe they come back, but just know you're not alone. There's a lot of us out here and it ain't no big deal, man. It ain't no big deal. If we don't let it be a big deal, then it won't be a big deal. And as I keep saying, this is kind of like my thing lately is that the world is going to reflect to you how you feel back about it. So if you're feeling self-conscious about it, uh, that's people are going to treat you weird that way. Um, if you feel confident about it, it's not a big deal. Uh, Chris says, on my lunch break and my notifications on my phone show that you were live. Well, thank you for hopping in on the live stream on your lunch break. Uh, hopefully you're still around. Let's see, how long ago was that? A few minutes ago. Uh, sorry it took me so long to get to you. I hope you're enjoying your lunch and the live stream. We're just hanging out at this point, answering questions, chatting back and forth. Uh, I'm glad you could hop in and say what's up. Definitely appreciate you. Much love for that. We got XM saying, you should think of selling some of your art paintings. They look really, really great. Well, funny you say that. I do actually try to sell them. I have a whole other website. Like before I came back to the Diaper Dynamo, I was trying to do art with Mark. Uh, so uh, if you look in my links in the description, um, actually I didn't put them in this description. I can put them once I'm done with the live stream. Uh, but the website's artwithmark.com. My name's spelled with a C, not a K. Um, so if you want to check them out, there are paintings for sale on the website. It would be awesome if people wanted to buy paintings because I've had a hard time selling them and I would love to make room for more because this is just my bedroom, man. My living room, my whole apartment looks just like this. Like I've got paintings everywhere. I've got them stacked up. Um, but I haven't been painting as much as uh, since I've been doing content for this channel. All of my creative efforts have been going into videos for YouTube and videos for TikTok. Uh, and figuring out how to turn this into a full-fledged business so I can keep doing it uh, for uh, the next few years to come, who knows how long. Um, but appreciate you asking about the art and pointing that out. Uh, I do try to link to it occasionally in some of the videos. Uh, I put it in my link tree on TikTok, so if anybody is following me on TikTok, there's a link tree there. If you guys uh, want want me to keep going. I need to grab a drink real quick. If you guys don't mind, excuse me just for one second. I got to get some water. Oh, sorry about that. Getting a little cotton mouth here. <clears throat> okay, so let's go back here, see where we left off at. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, we're talking about the art. Thank you for that. Uh, ben says, I love Rugrats. Jesse Crumb says, Rugrats is the best. Tommy is my favorite. Yeah, I mean, Tommy was the ringleader. You gotta, you gotta love Tommy. Uh, Venetius says, how's your relationship with your family? I had... Bad moments with my brother in the past. He is also hard with me and make fun of me. Fun of the fact I wear diapers. Um, honestly, if uh, first off, my relationship with my family. I mean, they are in Florida, uh, but we're in good standing. Um, it's just you know now that I'm doing this again, it'll probably be something that comes up and gets talked about more uh, whenever I go back to visit. Just because I got all this content out here, I'm joking about it. I'm laughing about it they'll probably have a good time with it. Um, that's honestly my best approach. You know, sometimes when people make fun of us, especially the people that are closest to us, they, a lot of times they do it out of love. They're just poking fun. They're trying to, you know, show you that they love you. Uh, and one good way to respond to that is to joke around back, you know, laugh at yourself. It's like what my shirt says here. You gotta have de self defecating humor. <laughs> 
you know, my little my little joke with myself. Um, but yeah, you gotta be able to make fun of yourself. You gotta be able to have fun with it. That's one of the benefits about being open with it. And so if you have, uh, if your brother and your family know that you wear diapers, uh, make fun of it yourself. Have fun with it. Try try and laugh at it. Look at the perks. And uh, you know, entertain your family with it if you can. You know, that's my best approach and my best advice for that. Uh, if he's being, you know, making fun of you in a malicious way, that's a whole different thing. Um, and there's certain other way, certain ways to handle that as well. Uh, usually, when people are being mean, it's because they're hurt themselves. You know, hurt people hurt people. And sometimes the best approach to that is to just not engage with it at all. Um, so cool. Thank you for that question. That's awesome. Uh, we got mostly here saying I try not to drink too much coffee if I if I can I have anxiety problems and panic attacks yeah no doubt there G gotta be honest with you guys every time I do one of these live streams uh, it feels a little bit like I'm about to come on stage I get a little bit of anxiety about coming on for these live streams uh, I'm starting to get used to it uh, and as the the concurrent viewer count goes up or at least at this time we have around 20 25 people but still that's like talking to uh, a room full of people right so if i was to do if you were to do like a presentation in front of a class or something like that i don't know about you guys but i get anxious about that kind of stuff uh so yeah coffee doesn't often help with that um but i like drinking coffee so you know <laughs> it doesn't usually affect me in that way sometimes Sean says, what people do not know, people who have ADHD or ADD, coffee calms them down than the people who don't. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I suppose it can. Um, Craig says, at home, I walk around in my diaper. Okay. That's cool. Thanks for sharing. It's always fun to do. It feels freeing, right? Um, generally, I don't, I don't do that too often these days. I got a roommate now. I don't think he'd appreciate that that much. Uh, he doesn't really care, honestly. He helps me film my videos sometimes. Uh, we got Mosa here saying, can you do much longer streams, please? What do you mean by much longer streams? Like two hours, three hours? What are we talking here? <laughs> um, I'm thinking when I do live streams of video games, those will be one way for streams to go a lot longer, give more people time to hop in and out as the live stream's going. We'll also give you something entertaining to do Well, we have some side conversations about whatever topics of discussion you guys want to talk about. Especially, it's really good to, to kind of keep the topic of discussion to what the channel's about. Because um, then later on the replay, people can learn from some of the stuff we discussed uh, while also having fun with us. Uh, I'm definitely finding some of the, especially streams like this one where I have a specific title, a specific topic, where I go over uh, stuff at the beginning of the live stream. Finding those are getting a lot more replays, uh, so that's what I'm going to start doing for all of the live streams. I want to make sure I have at least some content prepared. Uh, it'd be cool to do more interactive things with you guys once I start working out the programs to do some of the bells and whistles uh, that uh, some other people do in their live streams. Uh, it'll definitely make these things a lot more fun. And maybe we can even do like a painting raffle at some point. Maybe I'll give a painting away as like a promotion in a live stream. I, I don't know just yet how much interest there is in the artwork, but, or maybe we could do if I get some, if I ever am able to land some brand deals or anything like that, maybe we could do like a diaper giveaway or something like that. That probably would be way more cool for you guys. Uh, I, I definitely know how costly diapers can be. Um, so yeah, it'd be cool to maybe do a diaper giveaway at some point or some other types of products. Uh, I'm still working on trying to get some sponsors to come to the table, uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens with that in the future. Uh, let's back up here and see what else we got going on in the chat. So yeah, Mose, get back to me on the time on what you mean by longer live streams. That's where I left off here. Um, we got Jack Rem hopping in. Do you sew your paintings with varnish? If so, what kind? Uh, I do use uh, multiple different kinds of varnishes. It depends on the type of painting. Uh, something like this, uh, I did a matte varnish on, so that way you couldn't see like the gloss on it. Uh, something like this one, this painting up here. You can't really see the gloss on this one, but there is a gloss on that one just because the the uh, light bulb right here is kind of like a galaxy. And uh, I wanted to make the colors pop a little bit more so the gloss kind of helps 
make the colors pop a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, so I do that. Um, but yeah, guys, if you do want to check out the art website, uh, I will definitely put a link to it in the description of this video as soon as we're done. Um, or check the descriptions of other videos, especially other live streams where we've talked about the art. I've put them in the links of those descriptions. Um, yeah, appreciate the interest there. Ben says, that's a loud siren. Yeah, I live actually next to a hospital and a police department. Uh, so there's always sirens going off. Sometimes there's even helicopters. You guys might get the pleasure of hearing that at some point during a live stream, because that's not something I can stop or prevent. A helicopter flies over because there's like a landing pad on top of the hospital right across the street. Um, so that stuff happens sometimes. Oh goodness, lots of stuff going on now. Uh, we got uh, some meds do that, Mark. I know I take one that makes my mouth dry. Uh, yeah, it's just also because I'm talking a lot too. <sighs> cool. We got Caleb hopping in here. Caleb saying hello. Hello, Caleb. Thank you for joining the live stream today. Appreciate you hopping in. I've seen you around a little bit lately. I definitely appreciate all the comments and the suggestion. Uh, Caleb did have a request on doing some content on more affordable or cheaper diapers. Uh, definitely a great idea. I know some people are in those uh, cost or tight situations where they need a budget. Um, so I'm going to be looking into doing content like that or finding diapers that are good quality but for a good price. Um, there were some suggestions in one of the last live streams of looking at thrift stores. So if that's not a technique you've ever tried, Caleb, uh, I have found um, some some good diapers at thrift stores before. Um, some people said they were even finding Mega Max diapers at thrift stores. So you never know what you're going to find in a thrift store. Excellent Virus says, I love your shirt. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, this the self-defecating humor. So I do have a few shirts and, and other, other than the artwork. Uh, I was trying to use some of those art skills to create some products and stuff that's more appropriate for you guys in this niche. Um, so I thought it would be fun to take some funny sayings and slap them on a shirt. Um, and, and you know, if you were interested in getting one of these shirts or the artwork, I do have a different storefront for the shirts. Uh, there, I, there's some mugs available as well. Uh, I recently started actually making a few sales on them. And you know, if the I was wondering for a while whether or not they were good designs or good sayings or not, because I wasn't making any sales. Uh, but if they start making sales and people want to see them, maybe on other products, uh, they are available on coffee mugs. Uh, there's a variety of products that I can make them available on. Uh, but yeah, at this point, it's just a matter of me coming up with better designs that people actually might want to buy something, something that people might be comfortable wearing on a T-shirt out in public without feeling self-conscious about it. Um, this one actually gets laughs, honestly, guys. This one, I wore this to the dog park and some old lady saw it. She just read it and she just burst it out laughing. I thought it was hilarious. It's one of those good reactions that, uh, that I was going for. You know, I was hoping that uh, I could create something that gives people a laugh. Oh, man. I got to try and catch up here. You guys are, you guys are really popping here. We got 23 people in the chat. If you haven't saved the light, uh, the like button on the live stream yet yeah, definitely hit that like button maybe i'll get it out to a few more people uh, if you have any friends who wear diapers or who might be interested in the live stream and you want to want them to come and join the party send them out let's see if we can get to 30 concurrent viewers today that'd be awesome maybe i should keep live streaming until we hit 30. oh crap we got 25 oh man we're really racking it up that's what's up hit that like button we got 17 likes there and let me see if i can get more questions going on here love your shirt I had hot cocoa. Mmm, that sounds really delicious, hot cocoa. That's why I put the uh, chocolate creamer in my coffee because it kind of tastes like hot cocoa, but also tastes like coffee. You get that caffeine boost. You get that chocolatey fa flavor. Yeah, we're riffing now. Okay, so we got, uh, think of yourself as wearing just a diaper and it will help, Mark. <laughs> what do you mean, in the live stream? No, that's not gonna help at all. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Uh, your shirt was awesome, thanks. Vinicius, I appreciate that. Um, definitely check out the other designs in the Etsy storefront. That's definitely in the links of every one of my videos. Uh, it's a great way to help support the channel and definitely will help me know what designs are good or not good. I mean, if you guys don't want to buy them, you don't want to buy them, and then I got to come up with better designs. Um, or if you have any funny sayings you, well, you would like to see on a shirt, that'd be great as well. Um, I do have my catchphrase, the stay dry one. I might need to come up with some better designs for that one. We got, where I'm wearing a Scooby-Doo shirt. 
Cool, that's what's up, buddy. AVDLR, welcome here. We just can't dive too deep into those topics here, especially on, on live streams. That's more of like a, a private club type of thing. Maybe if I ever get like a subscription thing going on. Um, Moza says, I have ADHD and it does not cal calm me down. Coffee doesn't calm it. Coffee does not calm Moza down. Well, okay. Sometimes that can happen, I guess. JD says, a diaper giveaway would be awesome. JD, well, thank you for joining the chat. I don't think I've seen you pop in here yet. I appreciate you joining the live stream today. That would be something I would love to do if I can maybe work or collaborate with some type of company that would want to do that. Uh, I could certainly help them bring exposure to their company. Uh, they could help me by helping you guys out. It could be just a win-win-win situation for everybody involved. So, hey, if you're a company watching this on the replay, hit me up in my email in the About section. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on TikTok. There's lots of ways to get in touch with me. Uh, and I'd love to hear what, uh, what we might be able to do to work together. All right. Scotland rules ASMR. Well, what's up, Scotland? Thank you for joining us today. What are what are you wearing now? What diaper am I wearing now? I'm wearing the Comfort Dry 24/7. We actually went over this earlier. This is the product combo that I generally wear: Comfort Dry 24/7 with the Live New Booster Pad. And again, Comfort Dry. If you're watching on the replay, hit me up because you're the main brand I wear, the one I talk about the most. And it would be awesome to work with you guys. Um, we got uh, Moza saying, uh, I love a lot of sugar in my coffee. Yes, me too. Uh, Troy saying, Tiger Bowls overnight. Uh, I'd love to try uh, Tiger Bowls overnight. I guess that's a brand Tiger Bowls has. Um, yes, it, it would be cool to do some reviews for you guys on those products. I know a lot of you like them and wear them. Uh, personally, I haven't used them in so long. I have no idea. I don't know if I've ever really tried Tiger Bowls diapers. Um, I can't recall. I don't think I have. I'm not entirely sure. Moses says, please do streams for two hours or three hours. Hey, you know what? Maybe we'll just keep this going here right now for the next two or three hours. Honestly, it's definitely working for me. It's It helps out in a lot of ways uh, for me to sharpen my skills. It helps me get to know you guys so much better. I'm finding myself uh, thinking about your little screen names here when, when we're not having these conversations. So I'm getting to know you guys a little bit better. Uh, I definitely would love to be able to personalize some things directly to you more uh, the more we get to know each other. So yeah, um, two to three hour live streams. That's really, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm just getting used to one hour live streams at this point and uh, trying to figure out how to do these live streams in a way that's engaging to the people who are in them at the time and then also engaging on the replay. That's something I'm still trying to cultivate and figure out. You know, it's about learning how to speak properly and just basically keep the content engaging the whole time. It would be great if I had multiple cameras and I could just switch angles and pop some stuff that you guys say up on the screen. Like I'm working on all that. I can't wait to be able to do all that for you. And that will definitely make doing two to three hour live streams much more enjoyable for me and much more enjoyable for you as well as well as those who might watch it on the replay the other good thing about doing long live streams is you never know what question is going to come up you guys might ask me something that i never would anticipate that's related to the topic of wearing diapers or being incontinent uh that would make for great content later so one cool thing is with the shorts feature i don't know how many of you watch youtube shorts but that's basically youtube's version of tiktok that they're trying to use to compete with tiktok and one feature that I heard is coming, but I don't see it available yet, is being able to take certain special moments from live streams, clip them out, and just turn them into a short real quick like that. So that way those who didn't join the live stream or don't have the time to join the live stream can still get some of the cool things that happen in the live streams. That's also something that would be really cool for like the video game streaming as well. So when it comes to video game streaming, how many of you would want to participate in like a PlayStation 4 live stream? Would you guys want to game with me in video game or would you just be interested in just watching and enjoying the video game? Well, maybe we hang out and chat and have a discussion. Um, how many of you, how many of you said, I know we asked this last time and I know Moses is interested in it. I'm just trying to gauge how many more people would be interested in that. If that's something I should start doing during live streams, maybe uh, once I figure out how to get it all set up, Maybe that could be one of the shows 
during Sunday. Maybe we do like a morning live stream where we play video games and we hang out for a couple hours, do like a two or three hour live stream playing video games um, and stuff like that. Uh, and then later in the evening show, I'll do what I was talking about before, where I have like a certain set of facts and stuff that I want to present you guys with uh, and have a discussion about. We'll see how it goes. I mean, these things evolve one step at a time. That's that's why I say it's always important to just take that first step when it comes to anything uh, in life, wh whether it's a skill you want to build, whether you're trying to build confidence with wearing diapers. That's what I was saying the other day. If you're trying to build confidence with wearing diapers or learning to speak about diapers more openly or your incontinence issues more openly, one of the best things that I could recommend doing is starting off by doing what you're doing right now by engaging in this chat in a safe environment where people are accepting and open to the discussion that you're trying to have or in maybe an anonymous support group that's one route to go as well um, to build up that confidence with discussing these things uh, and then from there move on to maybe a close friend or family member there's there's a, a sequence of steps you'd want to take like you do with anything but it's just a matter of taking that first step is the most important thing Sorry guys, I'm trying to catch up on your comments here real quick. Give me just one second. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything good. Okay, Greg says, is the art is good. XM says, your nervous system doesn't show. You come through as confident, compassionate, educated, and also comforting. Your audience is growing day by day, and you feel like family to us. Don't ever stop. Wow, that's so wonderful to hear. Definitely very reassuring. It's, you know, as, as confident as I can be, or, or appear to be sometimes, uh, I definitely have my reservations with some things and it really helps to hear stuff like that. That's so nice and reassuring. Uh, while at the same time, I also have to try and be careful not to let the compliments go to my head too much because once you start doing that, you get really emotionally involved and then when someone leaves a negative comment, it affects you more deeply. Uh, so you kind of have to like take everything with a grain of salt so that way when you do get those haters coming along, they, they, they don't impact you as well. But those little nuggets of things like what you just said there, XM, that's the stuff that I take and I took away in my pocket and I use as fuel to keep me going. Just just knowing that I'm helping so many people uh, is just one of those things that just keeps me making awesome content and trying to find more content for you guys uh, to, to enjoy. Uh, Kevin says, what, what are your thoughts on tight bowls? I was thinking of getting some to try. Um, so Kevin, I don't know if you just hopped in, maybe you're still in the chat. I don't, I, hopefully you're still around. I see numbers popping up and down here. Um, but I actually, I haven't tried tight bowls in a very long time, so I'm not too sure exactly how well they perform. Um, I, judging from how they appear, I would expect them to perform pretty well. Um, but yeah, in way of performance, I'm not too sure just yet. Uh, hopefully I can get in touch with them soon. Maybe see if I can get some products to review. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see about that. Caleb says, I've seen some diapers at thrift stores. They're pretty cheap. Yes, that's always a great place to go. Uh, we got Jason Tight Wolves make great diapers. Uh, so always when you have questions like that that I can't ask or answer, uh, keep an eye on the chat because someone else in the chat is going to pro probably have some familiarity with that particular product. Um, so if you're watching on the replay, definitely look over on the side to reveal the the chat you can review uh what's going down in the chat in case anything good happens there you're welcome i love commenting on your videos well thanks caleb definitely appreciate the feedback uh sometimes i can react negatively to some feedback so i apologize to anybody who's had that experience of being on that negative reaction uh, i've realized recently i need to not check comments first thing in the morning when i wake up that's kind of been part of my routine lately and some days especially in the morning when I'm not awake yet I can be a little bit grumpy and may respond a little a little negatively to some comments let's just put it like that I put a lot of pressure on myself uh to do this and to do this well and when it comes to live streams I'm still new to live streaming so I'm still trying to learn it but yeah it can feel a, a little bit uh intimidating sometimes when people give me too much feedback you know, because I already give myself way too much feedback as it is. And I try to listen to what you guys say and make improvements based on that. Um, 
So definitely appreciate that when and where I can get it and respond to it positively. <laughs> That's the key thing is I need to absorb it. Um, okay, so just order some to try today. Good, good job, Kevin. Proud of you, man. Hope, hopefully they work out for you. Chocolate coffee is good. Yes, indeed. Uh, we got Troy saying just thinking that not wearing in the, in the live stream. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that comment was about there. Everyone should like and subscribe. Moza says everybody should like and subscribe. Everybody should listen to Moza. If you're not already liked or subscribed to the live stream, if you're popping in and out, we're just hanging out at this point, hitting that hour mark, but I'm still going here. I might have to grab another drink of water in a second if we're going to keep going. But yes, if you're not already uh, subscribed to the live stream and you're just now becoming familiar with me, my name is Mark. This is the Diaper Dynamo YouTube channel. Welcome, and uh, hopefully you find some content that helps you along your needs and your pathway. So that's what we're about here on this channel. We're trying to expedite your comfort and your need for wearing diapers. Uh, I don't want you to have to take the long journey that I took to get to this level of confidence and comfort with myself. So we're hopefully gonna help you cut some corners in that regard. Uh, to Mocha Caleb, uh, let's see, 100%. Is that the extra large Liberty booster pad? Uh, Jesse says, normalize the ABDL lifestyle. North Shore, support ABDL. Um, yes, I mean, I'm supportive of it. We just can't uh, elaborate too much here. Uh, Jesse says, is that the extra large Liberty booster pad? I don't know if they have sizes in extra large like that, but yeah, it's probably one of the largest ones you can get. Um, definitely. Steve says, have you been to Minnesota? I don't believe I've ever been to Minnesota. No, sorry, buddy. JD Robinson, I only play on Nintendo Switch, so I'd only be able to join you on games if it's on the Switch. Unfortunately, I don't have a Switch myself, uh, so that's not an option at this time. Uh, maybe in the future, you know, if I start doing live streams and stuff like that uh, with video games and get it, build up an audience that's interested in that sort of content, you never know. Um, you never know what might happen once I start doing that. Uh, thank you. I couldn't remember the name of it. Okay, we got some little little love and support going on there in the chat. Uh, do you like my screen name? I picked that name because I got that swagger in me, and it rhymes with diaper and I love diapers. Ben, no one swagger diaper. Honestly, Ben, I think it's swag. I do. Uh, I do enjoy it. I, I think it's got some flair, and yeah, it's a pretty cool name, buddy. Definitely, don't hesitate to embrace that uh, that confidence you have. In your name we got tony hopping in here tony welcome to the chat hopefully you're still here i know it's taking me a while to get to some of these comments and questions uh tony's saying i've tried to use booster pads in my diapers after an hour or so i tend to have pain in my hips or lower back from the extra bulk huh that's interesting yeah is it just the thickness of uh, of it or you're talking about once it starts to absorb and the weight of the diaper um Maybe maybe you're wearing the diaper too tight. I don't know. That's that's not a, a it's not an issue I've ever heard of before. But maybe booster pads isn't the way to go for you then. Um, we got uh, Moza saying I've been eating Subway. Do you like Subway as well? Yes, I do like Subway. I actually I these days I prefer to eat at home. To be honest with you, I rarely ever eat. I got Chinese food the other day, actually a couple weeks ago, but. Um, but yeah, I, I do I do enjoy me a good sandwich, for sure. I, I pretty much live off of sandwiches at home. I make my own subs, my own sandwiches, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, good stuff. Ian says, how do people find going to the gym and not feeling awkward? How do you, so how do you wear diapers going to the gym not feeling awkward? Well, first thing is to maybe use a thinner product. Uh, that's usually what I prefer to do is to try to find a thinner product to wear that will get me through an hour workout. like. Uh, honestly, when it comes to working out, uh, if you're working out hard enough, all of the fluid in your body is going to be coming out of your pores through sweating. Uh, you likely won't wet that much and won't really need to change while you're at the gym, um, unless you're looking to change and have a shower at the gym. That's a whole other thing. Uh, but personally, I would wear a thinner product to the gym. I would prepare before going to the gym, uh, and then you know work out as hard as I can while I'm there, and then change when I get back from the gym. That's personally my approach. Uh, but if you have to, if you're talking about a gym 
where you need to change in front of people. Uh, maybe, usually, gyms. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> usually, locker rooms. I can't think of the word locker room for some reason. Usually, locker rooms have like some some areas with like stalls and stuff. So maybe you could go and find like a, a stall to change in. Uh, for a little bit more privacy so that way people don't have to see that you're wearing diapers um, That's one way to go. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I know I'm starting to mumble a little bit My energy's starting to come down. I could probably use another cup of coffee at this point We're all talking about coffee and now I'm thinking about coffee and I want another cup of coffee um, Kind of hard to make coffee in the middle of a live stream So let's see uh, do, do, do. Uh, I we got Adrian out here saying good morning. Hey, Adrian, thank you for joining us this morning. Appreciate you joining the live stream. Glad you could hop in here today. Uh, Adrian says, thanks for the tips on how to wear diapers. It really helped me out at work, especially in going out in public too and letting everyone know. Well, uh, that's the other thing too is, is uh, you don't have to let everybody know. Uh, I let's I hopefully that's not how I'm being interpreted when I say stuff like that uh, I do think that you should probably be uh, Open with those you're closest to so that you're not feeling self-conscious about it but I don't think you need to go around telling everybody in the world. Uh, I just think that uh, if you find yourself Doing avoiding to do things that you really want or need to do because of the fact that you need to wear diapers And you're trying to hide it from certain specific individuals. Those are the situations where you might want to consider telling that person um, ben asks if I'm on Twitch. I'm not actually on Twitch yet. No, uh, as I'm starting to do these live streams and I'm thinking about doing uh, live streaming of video games, uh, I was looking at Twitch a little bit, but I also have noticed that lately a lot of Twitch streamers are moving from Twitch over to YouTube. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do Twitch or not yet uh, at this point. Uh, if I do live streaming of video games at all, I'm probably going to do them here on YouTube. Excuse me. Thomas asked if I hang out with any guys from the ABDL community. Um, I mean, I've had friends from the ABDL community over the years. I don't currently hang out with anybody on a regular basis, but um, I, do, I do have friends in the community and uh, I'm supportive of it. And everybody in the community I've met has been really nice and supportive of me. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a two-way street, you know, respect where respect to do and, and, uh, when I get respect. So it's just a matter of, of, uh, making sure that that kind of talk is kept in appropriate places. Uh, I used to run a support group on Facebook back in the day where, um, basically the main thing was keeping things about support. And so... That, that's the thing when it comes to ABDL stuff is uh, you just got to be conscientious of where you're having that conversation, who you're having it with, uh, try to be respectful of people and conscientious of their background or maybe compassionate to what their situation might be. Um, so whether you're incontinent or ABDL, I think that's a two way street. You know, we all need to be a little bit more compassionate to each other's situations. So Ben, when it comes to sharing your age and stuff, man, we this is like an adult area. I don't mind teenagers being here watching the content. That's okay, um, but just be careful about sharing your age and stuff like that, man. We don't just just be careful. Exercise caution on the internet. Um, you're underage, and uh, this technically is an adult channel. Uh, I try to keep it family friendly for the most part. And I do understand, you know, I was a teenager. I had bedwetting issues as a teen. I want to be able to speak to you guys. I, it's a, a, a part that's close to my heart. Uh, and I definitely understand what it's like being that age and having these issues. So I want to keep it, the content accommodating and stuff like that. But just be careful when it comes to, to you and anybody else who's watching this on the replay. Uh, if you are a minor, please don't go around sharing that on the internet and in the audience that can put you in jeopardy. And we don't want that. I don't want to be responsible for that. And uh, you got to be a little bit more conscientious of that. So appreciate you, buddy. But I'm just going to, just for your safety, I'm going to uh, mute that one there. If I can.
Sean says, the first person who found, found out about having to wear was my boss. Well, that's good. Hopefully your boss is supportive of that. Uh, I do definitely think there are some situations uh, where it's appropriate for you to share that with your boss. Uh, I also think that it's not entirely necessary either. Uh, I've worked plenty of jobs where I didn't share it with my boss uh, or my coworkers or anything like that. Um, so it's not totally necessary, but it can be helpful, uh, especially if you have bowel accidents and you need to have that leeway to go change. Um, you know, especially, I used to do a lot of like call center work. So if you're in the middle of a phone call and you have a bowel accident, that's one of those situations where you need that leeway to be able to hang up that call and go take care of business. Otherwise it's gonna be a problem for you and everybody else around you. <laughs> so. Trent says, I wear diapers to work sometimes. Most of the time when I'm working alone, they really help me when I can't use the bathroom. But that's good. Uh, that's what they're for. That's exactly what they're for. Uh, Caleb says, I would love to be your friend, Mark, and I would love to have more ABDL friends. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, underage people have to be careful. Um, it's all good, Ben. It's all love here. I just want you to be conscientious, and, and anyone else who may be a minor, you're welcome here. But don't go, just be, be safe, that's all. I, I have, I'm responsible for keeping the community safe and I gotta do what's necessary to keep everyone safe. So uh, just keep that in mind and we're, we're all gonna have fun. Um, okay, Adrian says, I had a problem where I worked at a grocery store, it's public too, and a coworker, a manager tried to get me in trouble too. After that, had to talk to corporate. Well, that sounds rough, man. It's always rough when you get corporate involved and you have to go to that level. Um, so, sorry you had those issues. I, I wish people were a little bit more understanding. Uh, but yeah, it's not something that I would recommend like running around with a megaphone about. Hopefully that's not how people interpret me when I say be open about it. Um, but cool guys. I know you guys were saying you wanted the live stream to go longer, but I'm getting a little gassed out here. I do need to take a bit of a break, get some water, eat some food. I haven't had any breakfast yet today. Uh, we went a little bit over the uh, the regular hour, so I'm, I, when I do live streaming of video games, most of this is especially to you since you were asking. I know you're probably still here. Uh, I would definitely be doing longer live streams when it comes to video games, just because they can be more engaging and a lot more fun. You never know what's going to happen, and we can all game together too as well for those of us who have the same systems and all that. Uh, and for those of us who don't have the same systems, we can at least enjoy hanging out and uh, see what sort of ruckus we can cause in a video game. Um, but guys, I'm gonna get going here. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. If you wanna join me for the live stream later tonight, that's scheduled at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind that I scheduled for 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, that's 7 p.m. East Coast, 4 p.m. West Coast. Uh, so if you guys wanna join me later tonight, I'm gonna try and prep some other presentation or some other information to do for that live stream so we have a different discussion later tonight uh but until next time until i see you guys next time stay dry